Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to talk about four skills that you need as a developer, but have nothing to do with coding. So let's get started. All right. Now, the first one that we have right here is data analysis. And usually you can do this through some type of software, right? Or you could do it through something like Google Analytics or even another company that you might be using, right? To basically gather up data uh from your websites your web applications right and the reason why data analysis is so important is because this is how you get to understand where your traffic is coming from this is where you'll get to understand uh why your users are leaving your site or you're leaving your application right this is where you get to go in and look at the features that you should focus on which features the users are actually using more often right which features are the ones that the users are going in and for whatever reason they are getting lost or you know uh, they can't figure out how it works or why they should use it right you're going to be able to find this information in the data right and usually it's going to be on analytics or you know google analytics uh some type of service like that data analysis is extremely important for developers now the next one that we have right here is marketing now again you might say joe but i'm a developer i don't need to learn about marketing why should i care about marketing right i mean you should care about marketing if you're expecting people to actually find your applications or find the services that you're trying to provide for users right if you don't know how to market yourself even to find a job or again for your own applications or your own services your own products whatever it might be that you're creating then nobody's ever going to find you you need to understand how marketing works. You need to understand how to promote yourself, promote your applications. What are the different uh, resources that are out there that you can use to bring traffic, to bring awareness to whatever it is that you do as a developer, just because you are a developer, it doesn't mean that you just go in and code because in reality, if you're thinking that that's all you have to do, then yeah, you might as well just call yourself a code monkey, right? That's all you do. All you do is click clack and that's it programming and do for loops. Now you got to think outside of the box, right? This is super important to understand because without this, this is how people come in and take advantage of you. Let's say for example, you have an application, but you don't know how to market it, right? Somebody might come in and say, well, you know what? I'll fund your uh, company, right? You have a great product, but we'll fund it and we'll market it for you and we'll bring the users that you need, but we'll take 50%. These people haven't done anything. They haven't created anything in your application and your service, whatever it is that you do, but they'll come in and take 50% or 30% or 20% of your company just because you can't do this on your own. This happens all the time. If you go and look at what happens like uh, on Shark Tank, this is how investors come in and take advantage. If developers actually understood certain things like this, like marketing and, and bringing users uh, to their services, they wouldn't need other people. They can do it on their own. Okay. So this is why it's so important to understand marketing, understand, you know, different strategies from, you know, Facebook ads to Google ads to, you know, SEO to, you know, creating uh, viral content, etc. Understanding those things are key for your success in 2021 2022 into the future okay now the next one that we have right here is research understanding how to do research is 90 percent of the job now you might be saying again joe but all i want to do is just code all i want to do is hit my little click clacks and do my little for loops and and set up my little variables yes that's cool but you need to understand how to do research most people that are in the game right they will tell you, hey, 90% of the job is us doing research through documentation, through forums, through books, right, et cetera, right? You need to understand how to do research to be able to solve the problems, okay? It could be research to find a problem that you had and you were stuck. It could be research for you to find out what type of features and applications you should be building instead of what you want to build. A lot of people build things because they want to build it. That's the wrong, <laughs> wrong approach. You should build things that people actually need. But the only way that you're going to find out about that is if you do research. If you don't know how to do research, you might as well just 
call it quits because you're going to be creating things that nobody uses and nobody needs. Okay. So research is very important. Okay. Now the next one that we have right here is project management. Have you ever seen situations like this where uh, a developer comes in and says, Hey, I'm starting on this project and then they never finish it. Right. Or somebody comes in and says, Hey, I got this big idea for this startup and I'm going to build this huge application. But for whatever reason, it never comes out. Right. They never get it out there. No one ever uses it. Right. Shout out to my boy, Tyler Benton. I kind of explained to this, uh, to him in one of our, you know, discord hangouts, by the way, go subscribe to codingphase.com. Check out community.codingphase.com and also check out the discord coding phase, right? All of that should be in the description below. Okay. But yeah, I was explaining to him, Hey, you always build in projects, but we never see you complete it, right? You never see it that, Hey, I got a thousand users in here. Hey, I got a hundred users that are actually signed up to my service, whatever it might be. Right. And of, of course, I'm not trying to throw no shade to him, but this is a, a problem that we all have until we understand how project management works. Okay. Uh, you know, time management, right. Understanding how to have deadlines, right. And set deadlines for yourself. Okay. How to have the MVP minimum viable product, right? When you're building an application or you're building some type of service, you should always start with the most important feature, which is going to be your MVP. That's the first one that you want to go in and say, okay, this is our most important feature. And this is the first one that we want to release. Then everything else comes after that. Okay. If you don't understand how to do project management, you're going to have, you know, problems. Okay. You're going to have problems building your, your, you know, your projects and also too for working in companies, right? Every company you're going to see that they're using software like Asana, they're using Jira, they're using some type of, uh, service, you know, Trello, right. To go in and keep track of everybody's projects. And that's why there's always like a project manager. There's always like a, a lead, right. Whatever it might be, however your company might be structured, right. There's always somebody that's setting up certain goals for the team and it's because without project management you really don't know what to build you really don't know how to set things up okay at a timely manner and even you know again which feature is the first one that needs to be created so that's something that's very very important for people to understand all right so again so we have those four different skills that you need okay we have data analysis okay the next one is marketing. And then from there we have research and we also have project management. Okay. Without those four skills, you could be a good developer, but you're not going to be a great developer. Okay. Without those things, uh, you're basically just a dude that knows how to code and that's it. All right. So anyways, man, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy is backing out and did it again. Guys, if you want to learn how to code, Look, my advice is come check out codingphase.com. Come give this a try, okay? Come check it out, okay? We teach you everything that you need as a developer, right? We focus on the bag. We focus on getting you results. We are not the most popular uh, channel on YouTube, but one thing that we can go and say, we get people results, okay? We get people into jobs. We have different career paths. We have the content editor career path. This is something that you could do in a month and a half. HTML email developer is something you could do in two months, right? Then you have the front end developer, back end developer, full stack developer from there. And as you continue to grow, you could continue going and specialize in different career paths like React developer, Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer. And if you want to build your own company and set up your own maybe software as a service or Shopify apps, right? Create your own business. You could definitely check out the entrepreneur developer career path. Okay. Come check it out. You could always get started with 20 bucks and that's it. Okay. You get unlimited access to all the programming courses with just 20 bucks. Like this is super affordable. There's no reason why you shouldn't try it out. Okay. So anyways, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Hopefully this was something that was useful for you guys, right? We got this four different skills that I can tell you right now has helped me so much in my career as a developer. All right, guys, I'll see you guys.